So this is a new video on how I get my um, TV box sets into Media Center um, at the request of reader Dave. Um, apologize for how long it's taken me to create it, but here we go. So I'm going to do 24 box sets, season one. It's the first one that I was able to grab. Um, first thing I do is I put the disc in and I open it using DVD shrink. So you click on open disc. It should automatically select your disk drive. You click OK. It's going to read it, and then you should get something like this. Um, what I do is I go to uh, reauthor up here at the top. So I'm not uh, going to select full disk. I'm going to select reauthor. Over here on the left-hand side is what you want um, to pull off. So if you look under main movies, you'll see title 1, 2, 3, and 4. Those correspond with the episodes that are on the disk. Um, nine times out of ten, not always, but most of the time, they are in the proper order. Well, Title One is the first episode on the disc, Title Two is the second, and so on. So if the disc contains episodes one through four, then these would be episodes one through four. If it was five through eight, then Title One would be five, Title Two, six, and so on. Um, you can look at the duration, see it's about the right time. Uh, click on one of them, press play down here, you'll get your preview. Uh, can slide forward and you see that that's the show. Now the other thing we do is we click on compression settings and then for each one you can choose the audio. Um, in some cases you may have uh, one that has a director's commentary. Um, you can go ahead and take that off because you're not going to use it. So the other thing we want to do is same thing as we did before. We'll go to edit preferences. Uh, make sure that you're on DVD 9 so you get the full thing. Um, output files. You want to uncheck split VOB files into one gigabyte size chunks. You want to uncheck that. Um, okay. Then we click on the backup button. And then here, um, by default, it'll probably be set to ISO image. What we want to do is we want to change it to hard disk folder. Um, I just go with whatever the default is. So in this case, it's giving me a default of 24 disk 1. Uh, and then you click OK and it'll start ripping it. Now, for the sake of the video, I've actually already ripped it. So let's pull it up and here's the folder. Here's what you'll get. Um, so the VOBs are what you want. So VOB will, uh, here we go, VTS underscore zero one two three four. Uh, these are your episodes one, two, three, four. Now from here, all I need to do is go into video redo, and I already have it open here. Um, and then you can do two things. You can do uh, click on tools, select quick stream fix, and then I'm going to put it into my TV archive on my home server. Um, so I'll click there. I go to my home server TV archive 24 season one, um, and I'll change the type to DVRMS. Um, and then here's the naming convention you want to use. So it's the title of the show, period, and then an S for season, and then the, the two-digit season, so S01, another period, an E for episode, and then the number of the episode. Um, so, you know, a lot of the information that you're going to use to uh, for your metadata can be found on a website called the TVDB.com. So if you're unsure, you can just come here. Uh, in this case, we'll click on season 124. And you'll see um, all the different titles, but really you only need the episode numbers. So 1 through 24, and then um, you'll get all the other information with the metadata. So uh, click Save, and then click on Start Quick Stream Fix, and you'll, you'll be done. You'll have your first episode. Now, if you're doing multiple like we just had, um, what you can do is click on Tools and click on Start Batch Manager. Um, and this way you can load up a few of them. So I'll click on here. We'll change my file type to all. Um, actually, let's change it to media files. And then here's just my VOB. So I can select the first one. Um, the de destination folder is going to be the 24 season 1. And then in here is where I would change my file type or file name. So it's 24 period um, S for season zero one because it's the first season period e for episode because uh, and then the episode number two digit 
and then um, click add entry. So now in the same way, I can go and select the next one, Bob2, um, and then just change the name here again to 24 uh, season one period shift episode zero two. Um, and then click add entry. So now what you want to do here is click on save and execute. Um, and then it will start converting those and, and just kind of batch it. So if you want, you can rip all your VOBs down first and then batch it. You can do a disk at a time, whatever. Um, I definitely use the batch manager instead of having to quick stream fix each one at a time. Um, so click done. Uh, that's fine. So let me close out of this. Um, and then what you get is the DVRMS file. So. Um, Let's go over to the home server, and I will show you what that looks like. Uh, go into my TV archive folder, and there's 24, and then season one. I definitely want what you want to do is you want to have all of your folders set up um, wherever you put them. Um, all the TV shows. So here's 24, and then a season folder with a. Uh, I, I usually find the single digit works best, but I think you can do double. Um, so season one, and then there's the episode. So I'm going to show you an example of my Battlestar Galactica DVDs. Um, and you want the name. You'll see that the name of this folder is Battlestar Galactica 2003. You really want to match up with whatever's available on the TVDB.com. So search for your show there, and that's the series name you should be giving it to get the best metadata. Um, so coming back here, you see Battlestar Galactica. Um, there's seasons one, two, three, and four, and then any special like the recap episodes goes into a specials folder, um, and that's that's season zero. Uh, so that's that convention. Um, so once you have it there, then you can just go into your media center. Um, I'm using Media Browser for all of my TV shows. I use My Movies for Movies and Media Browser for TV shows. Uh, so I'll click on TV Archive. <coughs> and Media Browser, based on the naming convention, will go and actually get the metadata from the TVDB. Um, and pull it down. So here's my 24 season one. Um, I see a few of the other shows that I currently have in here. Backyard Against for My Son. It's my Band of Brothers box set. Um, and then here's the this the Battlestar Galactica that I was showing you earlier. Um, it's already pulled down the cover. So I click on OK. Um, you'll see my season one folder. It'll automatically go out to the internet, um, refresh and grab um, the metadata so you saw the images pop in. Click on season one, um, and there's my, my one episode. Um, so all the metadata just automatically pulls down. It's nice and neat. You see it's already pulled down the backdrop uh, for the 24 series. Um, if I go over to... Battlestar Galactica, here's an example of where I have multiple s uh, seasons. Um, so you'll have all the seasons listed side by side and uh, m Media Browser will go and pull down the metadata again from the DVD, the TVDB. Um, and if I click in here, um, you'll see that it has all the episodes listed on the right hand side. I can go through, select one, and then uh, just start playing it. And that is how I get TV into Media Center. Thanks so much.